welcome to Casey's Journey. And today we have a very special guest. Um, he is uh, one of my connections on LinkedIn. Um, his name is um, Garrett. And um, today we're going to talk about how to um, build your personal brand on LinkedIn. So I believe that Garrett is very, very uh, expert on this. <laughs> I'm actually uh, following him on his videos on LinkedIn, and I saw that uh, it's a very interesting content and it's really helpful, especially for those who are new into LinkedIn and also for those who are in LinkedIn but they haven't updated their profile yet. So, um, Garrett, <laughs> it's nice Hi. to see you. <laughs> yeah, thanks for having me. Okay, so um, Garrett, can you tell us more about what is our personal branding? Yeah, of course. So, just like how you have a business brand like Nike or Coca-Cola, you have a personal brand which is basically, instead of it being a company and a corporate entity, it's the same but for a person. So everyone has a personal brand, whether you only post once a year to celebrate your son's birthday on Facebook or whether you post daily like I do. Everyone has a personal brand and it's basically what other people think of you. And in order to kind of make that better you can do certain tactics like posting and um, making content mm -hmm. okay cool so uh, can you tell us the importance of building your personal brand on linkedin linkedin is by far my favorite social platform i think it mm -hmm. works differently in comparison to facebook instagram twitter tiktok youtube all the rest of the platforms and it's really really good because it has something unique about it and that thing that's unique is the people on the platform actually care about the other people on the platform and they want to see everyone succeed yeah. and so if you're having a bad day and you post a video saying i'm not feeling myself today you'll have loads of people jump in the comments saying oh it's fine you can come back tomorrow and kill it and all the rest yeah. of it so it's really nice to see people pulling together on linkedin to mm -hmm. help others because you don't really get that on Instagram and TikTok and all the rest of the platforms. Yeah. I think it's really important on LinkedIn because of the nature of the people that are on the platform. So it's great if you want a job, job search, it's great if you're looking for clients and it's just great if you want to meet like-minded individuals that are either on their journey for their first job or maybe they're looking for their 15th job or maybe they're just looking for other entrepreneurs or marketeers that are going through the same journey as you. And I mean, mm, yeah. I've been on the platform about two and a half years now. I'm oh. in marketing, I've got my own company, and it's great to see other people, not just in the UK, but also mm -hmm. around the world, yeah. to see their journeys as well and see them growing alongside me and all sorts of hop on calls just like this one and yeah. just talk to people. And I think that's really important to build those connections. Yeah, that's true. Okay, so uh, can you tell us what are the ways to build your personal brand on LinkedIn? I think, yeah, there's probably a lot of ways. <laughs> yeah, I, yeah, I mean, there's a lot of ways and it's definitely not stuck to LinkedIn. You can build mm. it by starting a podcast or building an Instagram channel. I think it, it really depends on you as a person. Mm. For me, I feel that video really works. So I hop on LinkedIn, I make videos daily. But then for other people, they don't want to have their face in front of the camera. They prefer to talk. And mm. so they can start a podcast. Um, but then some people, they just like to do art and they don't really feel comfortable talking about their art in person on video so they can make small videos of them creating their art. And just by thinking uniquely and knowing yourself, I think you can start producing content and a range of different content mm -hmm. to make yourself build that brand. And I think one of the key things that a lot of people see as a huge hurdle is they want to start posting on social media but they see people posting sometimes multiple times a day mm -hmm. and they think well I haven't got that much time to be able to produce content every single day multiple mm -hmm. times a day to keep up with all these other people and the truth is you don't have to I think when it comes to LinkedIn and other platforms just post as much as you can I mean if you can only post two times a week then that's great start by posting two times a week Usually what I found along my journey is that building my personal brand, it used to take a lot, lot longer for me to create content. Mm -hmm. And now it takes me 
like an hour, if that. So wow. I can awesome. pick up my camera, film the video, and then I can quickly edit it, put subtitles in, and it's done. And it takes me an hour, if that. And I think that over time it will get a lot easier, but sometimes just that starting point, mm -hmm. it seems like a massive step, but actually it's really small. And even for those out there that might be already creating content and they just want to get better, yeah. maybe you're putting up images on Instagram or images on LinkedIn. I think if you want to get into video, one of the underutilized things is start a podcast because mm. a podcast isn't video. So you can still get used to being on the microphone and mm. then you can take that as a stepping stone to get into video because sometimes people get nervous having their face on camera yeah and so you don't have to have your face on camera starting a podcast mm -hmm. and it's kind of a stepping stone which a lot of people don't talk about but actually it is a huge stepping stone and it helps people mm -hmm. yeah cool all right so um what are your tips and advice to those who are looking for job opportunities on linkedin i think in terms of job opportunities there's a lot of different ways you can go about it you mm -hmm. can connect with everyone in your industry there's loads of people mm -hmm. you can literally go through searching and engaging with people's posts so mm -hmm. for example if you're in marketing you can connect with every marketer that is in your city and drop them a message as soon as they connect to say hi how are you doing how's things with for example the coronavirus it's a great mm -hmm. common topic we can talk about right now and i think you know not everyone is going to respond but mm -hmm. you might get 30% of people that respond and then you can build those relationships and you never know you might have five job offers by the end of it mm -hmm. and by just being yourself and just engaging in people's comments on their posts I think that's really important but yeah. on the flip side um, obviously that's a lot of legwork but if you want there is a small tip that you can do which is just simply filling out your LinkedIn profile mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I mean having an engaging photo having an engaging headline, just all these small different parts that actually pay huge dividends because people will come back to you and be like, oh, hey, I saw that you really like creating video or you really like creating music. Then mm -hmm. it kind of starts a conversation. And if you don't even have a photo on your LinkedIn, you're probably not going to get very far. You definitely have to have that at least. Mm -hmm. But just making sure that it's up to date, making sure that you've described what you're looking for on LinkedIn, but also what you can offer to other people mm. and a little bit about yourself in that bio section. That's really, really important because mm -hmm. if someone wants to go onto your channel and they're not sure whether to connect with you or not, then they can go onto your profile, read that, and then they'll know a bit more about what your expectations are and what you're actually searching for. Because oftentimes people just put loads of mumbo jumbo mm -hmm. and you know, it doesn't really help anyone because they don't know what you're actually on LinkedIn for or why you're connecting. And oftentimes that's the question most people have in their head when you connect is why is this person actually connecting with me? Mm, sure. Are they trying to sell me a product or service? Mm. Because especially on LinkedIn, there are a lot of people yeah, selling out there and that's why a lot of people don't respond to messages. Mm. So I think asking something genuine or commenting on someone's post shows that you've got a bit more of an interest than just you know, trying to sell someone a, a quick product to get a bit of cash in your pocket. Mm -hmm. So yeah, yeah I, mean, I could talk about LinkedIn all day. Um, <laughs> I love LinkedIn as a platform and I think there's lots of different ways that you can utilize it. You can mm -hmm. do those skills quizzes that they've mm -hmm. added in at the bottom of your profile. Um, making sure your skills are up to date is really important as well. And um, getting recommendations from others by doing free yeah. work. I'm a huge advocate of, especially if you're starting out or trying to get into a new industry, offering people a service for free and then asking for their recommendations, asking what was good, what was bad, so you can learn from it and then getting them to leave you something mm -hmm. down below on your profile just to kind of say, oh, hey, this person is cool and knows what they're doing. Mm -hmm. And that really builds your credibility, especially if you're trying to enter a new market or you're mm -hmm. trying to build a new business or skill. Yeah, that is totally true. So... Really, uh, thank you so much, Garrett, for this a, a very helpful information about how to build uh, your brand on LinkedIn. It's really helpful, especially for my friends, especially mm -hmm. for my friends out there, um, my blogging community friends, and also uh, my fellow VAs, virtual assistants, and freelancers online. 
So guys, you should follow and um, apply what uh, Garrett has said. Because it's really, really um, very helpful. And uh, I myself, in my experience, it really helps a lot. And um, through LinkedIn, I was also able to find a job there. Yeah. So it's really, really cool. You just have to um, really uh, showcase um, what you've got. And also, it's not only a, like a resume or something, but it's all about your personality yourself. Right, Garrett? You will show. Yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. So it's really, really helpful and i hope you guys uh you have learned something um and i hope that you will really put it into practice and apply it and start uh also growing your linkedin your connections and start um engaging with people and i know uh, aside from that if you are connecting to people you're also learning a lot from them they are really really good and really uh helpful for us especially uh those who are working online it's really really helpful so thank you so much, Garrett, for the time. No problem. <laughs> nice to see you. <laughs> yeah, okay. you too. Thank you. Okay, bye.